what's good. Today, I'm going to share some tips on how to dress if you have narrow hips. Now, having narrow hips doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with your body, but it can present some challenges when it comes to finding the right clothes. The key is to create balance and visually enhance your proportions. So let's dive in and explore different clothing options that can help you achieve that. One of the challenges that narrow hips can present is feeling imbalanced or uncomfortable in certain clothing styles. I know that for myself, whenever I wear something that emphasizes the narrowness of my hips, I feel very top heavy. So when putting outfits together, I like to focus on creating a more balanced silhouette. Before we get into it, let's talk about what it means to have narrow hips. If your shoulder line is wider than your hips, then your hips can be defined as narrow. Now, a lot of people can interpret this to mean that you have broad shoulders, but that is not always the case. For example, I think that my shoulders are pretty proportionate to my body. They're simply just wider than my hips. So when you look at your body more holistically, rather than focusing on a specific body part, you can better understand your body as a whole. If you search fashion tips for narrow hips, you'll often come across a quote unquote body type called inverted triangle. It's important to note that body diversity is nuanced and there are various body shapes even within the label of inverted triangle. Some people have short torsos, some have long torsos. Some have wider waists, some have more narrow waists. Some have broader shoulders, some have more narrow shoulders. Some have large busts and some have smaller ones. Whenever I look at bodies, I like to look at them more holistically. So I don't necessarily subscribe to quote unquote body type terms like inverted triangle. However, if that label speaks to you and helps you understand your body, then by all means, go for it. Also, a lot of advice online about styling narrow hips is that everyone just assumes that we hate having narrow hips. I don't hate having narrow hips. I don't hate any part of my body. My body is just what it is. I just wanna create more balanced outfits. So the focus of this video is to help you understand your body and create more balanced outfits rather than hating or feeling like you have to change your narrow hips. Now let's get into the bottoms and pants that you should avoid if you have narrow hips. Tapered pants, skinny jeans, and form-fitting or straight skirts should be avoided if you have narrow hips because they tend to accentuate the narrowness of your hips instead of creating balance. Now. I don't own a single pair of skinny jeans, y'all. I got rid of all of them. So I'll just use these workout leggings as an example. You see how these just accentuate the narrowness instead of creating balance? Whenever I wear skinny or tapered pants, I always feel uncomfortable. In fact, you can tell how uncomfortable I am just in these clips. Instead, you can opt for looser fit pants that have wider or flared pant legs. You see how the looser fit of the pants makes my overall silhouette look more balanced? Another type of pant that I love are pants that have pleats or details that add volume to the hips. These are my favorite pair of pants that I have ever purchased and they have this pleat detailing, which is great because it adds volume and visual interest around my hip area. And because I also have very skinny legs, the wide legs of these pants just gives my overall silhouette more balance. Here is another example. These sweatshorts have an elasticated waistband, which creates some volume around the hips. So opting for these sweatshorts instead of these biker shorts makes a huge difference in the silhouette. Now, don't get me wrong, I still wear both of these shorts when I work out because I'm literally working out, but I wanted to show this as an example of how two different styles of shorts can drastically change the look of your outfit. Now, if you have narrow hips and a short torso like me, you can look into low rise pants. Even though my hips are narrow, my waist is even narrower. And because my torso is short, sometimes when I wear high waisted pants, my waist and torso just get lost. I like wearing low rise pants sometimes because it gives my torso and waist some room to breathe and it visually elongates my shorter torso. Form fitting or straight skirts are not the best option for those of us with narrow hips because they just don't do anything for our bodies. They're kind of just there. <coughs> 
So instead, you can opt for A-line skirts, flared skirts, pleated skirts, and skater skirts. A-line skirts are great because they flare out gently from the waist, which creates the illusion of wider hips. Flared, pleated, and skater skirts are great because they add movement and volume around the hips, diverting attention away from the narrowness and creating a more balanced look. Now, I don't wanna completely demonize straight or fit skirts because there are ways to create balance while wearing them. For example, if you wear a coat on top of this outfit, that will entirely change the silhouette. Plus, a straight skirt fits better underneath this coat than a pleated skirt would. So I don't wanna demonize these pieces entirely. What's most important is balance. Dresses that you should avoid are ones with no waist accentuation. You can absolutely wear tight fitting dresses as long as there is waist accentuation thoughtfully included in the design of the dress. Let's take this dress for example. Even though it is tight fitting, it was designed and sewn in a way that accentuates the waist. There's also a ruching detailing all throughout the dress that adds more visual interest to the straightness of my body. A-line dresses are another classic because like I mentioned before, this style gently flares out from the waist creating a more balanced silhouette. Also, depending on the weight of the fabric that's used, it can create some movement which adds visual interest. And I also love wrap dresses because you can use the tie of the dress to create volume around your hip area, giving you the illusion of fuller hips. Now let's talk about outerwear. Most advice online says that you should avoid shoulder pads at all cost. I vehemently disagree. Outerwear with strong shoulders can create very flattering, balanced, and visually interesting silhouettes. It really depends on how you style it. I will say, however, that the one type of jacket that you should avoid if you have narrow hips are jackets that are cropped right at the waist. It just draws an arrow to your hips that says, Hey everyone, look at my narrow hips. Instead, you should opt for jackets that surpass your hips, like longer coats. Dusters are also really great. And I love blazers that slightly flare out at the waist, like this vintage one that I'm wearing. It creates a lot of balance. Again, I love shoulder pads. I will never give them up. As long as you are balancing out the strong shoulders with the proper bottoms, you will be a-okay. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that the hourglass shape is not the only flattering silhouette. I think women are socialized to view hourglass shapes as the ideal, but you can absolutely create visually interesting and balanced silhouettes without trying to force your body into an hourglass shape. I don't know y'all, just my two cents. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. It really motivates me and encourages me to create more analytical fashion videos because these take so long to create. <laughs> so go ahead and leave me a little comment. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.